Hello everybody! Do you think that good musicals is only for Broadways and for professionals? Well, think again, because today you're going to see what happens here at Baru College when it comes to theater. We are doing Godspell. Um, there's 10 students on the stage at the same time. Um, from all walks of life, all different languages, we're going to use the different languages as well. It's a story about uh, Jesus Christ back in the day, and we're taking it where you can plug your own religion into it. You know, we're not banging it on the head, Christianity. It's, it's love, and it's a story of a community of young people growing together and rebuilding after political disasters. Well, it's interesting because even in the 70s, it's the story uh, you know, 2,000 years ago, so they they brought it to modern day, so we're bringing it to modern day as well. And uh, things haven't changed that much politically, Pharisees and uh, politics. So we're, they, they completely understand it, and it's a fresh take. What's great about students of science and computers, you know, they're on the other side of the brain. And it's interesting to pull them to the other side. It's They want to make logical sense. Mm -hmm. um, and it's fun for them to just jump in and build a character. And so they don't have the neuroses that a normal actress would have. Oh no, am I good enough? You know, they just jump in and do it and they're amazing. Theater is is probably one of the most underserved nonprofit areas in the world. I mean, um, because you can't quantify what theater can do for people, you can't really prove grant numbers. Um, but theater spoke to me when I was younger. I grew up in poverty. I uh, came from an abusive household, and when I got to go to theater practice, I got to escape. So, it's definitely a public affairs arena nowadays. Everyone's everyone's texting, and theater is all about presenting. Theater is all about connection. Theater is about telling a story. So whether you're an accountant or a veterinarian, you still need to talk to people. A lot of students that come to Baruch um, come from not entirely entitled backgrounds and a lot of their parents are immigrants or um, don't have degrees. So our mentality is to go to school, get a job and work hard and provide. So I think when you are able to put arts on campus, you allow the students to breathe and to, to express themselves and to kind of take a break and, and to be 20 years old, um, not 35, working on their resume. Um, and being here and doing silly things like pretending that you're a pig, like all that stuff seems very silly, but then you get to relax and, and uh, you grow as a person. So I think it's really important for this campus. I think that theater just allows people to experience other lives without like fear of of judgment or like having to travel to Asia. You know, here we pretend we're in like 50 BC without even going anywhere. Uh, we don't need a time machine. So I think it's, they can definitely change people's lives and mentalities for sure. I would not be alive if it wasn't for theater. There you have it. Some people think that theater can be a reflection, an image of real life. And certainly the students doing this are feeling that way. And next week we'll be talking about another interesting experience that our students are having here at Baruch College. So stay tuned.